Hello guys, this is Glenn from Sydney CBD Repair Center and today we have a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 and it's not flipping. I wonder why. Let's find out. So this Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4 has a broken display and hinge and as we expect on these new foldable smartphones from Samsung, although they are very amazing, very useful in many ways and they are rather different in their construction, it also plays out in their disadvantage because there's a lot of moving parts that can fail. And we already ordered a replacement display with a housing assembly. And you can see that the packaging for these replacement displays are very elaborate. You have some plastic, rigid plastic to keep it still, to keep it flat while in transit. They also have plastics all over it. And it's necessary because as what I've already said, a lot of moving parts on the part of the hinge that can get damaged as you open the device and close it many, many times. So first thing we're going to do is remove the back cover. So the back cover or back covers because there's two of them here, we're going to remove them first so that the main plan here is to remove all the parts inside this broken unit and transfer it to the new display with the built-in housing and hinge assembly. So we're gonna tackle the top part, the top back cover. Gonna be very careful because there's a cable attached to this back cover and we don't want to damage any flex cables especially these new smartphones parts are very scarce and not easy to find but here we have our Samsung Galaxy expert David to do the repairs so if you're curious and what are done to these Z Flip 4s, how we open them, how we fix them. You can use this some of, uh, some sort of a guide. There's not many channels in YouTube and Facebook is doing this kind of repair. Now that the back cover back covers are off, we're gonna unscrew the main board and other components that we have to remove the main board is located on top on the top hemisphere of this device there's a lot of screws but it's rather easy to remove it once all the connectors are detached this is our replacement display different color inside and on the side as well this is the main board rather tiny and underneath the main board just below it is a battery so you have two sets of batteries one at the bottom and one top and as we remove parts from the broken unit we're gonna transfer them to the new one so that we don't make a mess on our workspace here just to make things a bit tidy So it's just plug and play and attach some of the cables and put back all the screws so as you can see it's when you have the smartphone in a flat position it's not really different from us uh, an Asus ROG phone with its own layout of two batteries 
but when you think about the complexity of having the hinge uh, in between those parts you're gonna be amazed of how, what Samsung has accomplished in this unit here with its weakness I think this is still one of the best devices that Samsung has released lately and I say that the Z flip is more functional than the other one they have two types of foldables the, the flip and the other one that with the hinge vertically oriented now we have already installed the daughter board at the bottom and the main battery this is the larger of the battery and we have the wireless charging module attached I'm gonna put back the screws that we have removed so if you're trying to do this in your own if you want if you're curious and you want to save some money you want to order your own parts and do the repairs you might want to think about your decision because it's gonna be it's gonna take a while for you to have the confidence to perform these uh, repairs because of the complexity uh, not much of a resource out there maybe I fix it has some resource but as a general rule for foldable smartphones this is still a very young kind of technology that Samsung is pioneering it's still working it's the good news I'm gonna see if it boots up normally that's David there unfortunately we can't show you the wallpaper and the contents of the smartphone because uh, the client wants us to keep it private so we're just gonna show you the bits and pieces show you that the smartphone is working after the repair I'm gonna close this up it's gonna be like a purple black Samsung Z flip 4 now this is just how it is sometimes the red color is not available so we'll have to make do of what we have and then the final piece the top back cover will be installed and we're done I think this is all good now I'm just gonna make a few tests and once we have confirmed that this is all functional and working we're gonna give it back to our client and this is still <laughs> the broken hinge Z flip 4 and this is the fixed one so thanks for joining guys don't forget to like subscribe and this Z Flip 4 is going to live on as a brand new one. See you again next time, guys. Cheers! If you want your smartphone fixed for a very reasonable price, you may contact Sydney CBD Repair Center. We also provide mail-in repair services for customers outside of Australia or Sydney. Just message us so we can arrange the shipping of your device.